Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hope you're all doing great. Let's start another wonderful day. And let's sustain, um, let's start it by singing our rhyme, the zoom, zoom, zoom. Let's do it. Oh, the scarf, don't forget it. One, two, and three. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you wanna take a trip, climb aboard the rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one. Last off. Far, far, far. We're going to the stars. Far, far, far. We're going to the stars. If you wanna take a trip, climb aboard the rocket ship. Far, far, far. We're going to the stars in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Fun, fun, fun. We're going to the sun. Fun, fun, fun. We're going to the sun. If you want to take a trip, climb up or the rocket ship. Fun, fun, fun. We're going to the sun in five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Today, Tuesday, I've got another surprise for you. It's right here. Do you want to see it with your eyes? Look at this. Oops, sorry. It says the five senses. Let's take the moon, the star, and the sun. Let's put them down. So now you can really, really take a look at that. Let me see if I can do it well. So you all can see what I want to show you. Here it is. Perfect. Do you remember that last week we learned about the five senses with the song? I have two eyes so I can see and a nose to smell. I have ten fingers that can touch. Ouch! They do it very well. I have two ears so I can hear the birds up in the trees. I have a tongue inside my mouth to taste the food I eat. Mmm, <clears throat> yummy! So look, look at this poster. The five senses. She can smell the flowers with her nose. Do you see? With the nose, with the nose, sorry. She can taste the ice cream with her tongue, with this organ, the tongue. She can see, she can look at the end. Do you see the end here? With her eyes. He can listen to music, he can hear with his ears. Oh, look at him. He's touching the cactus so he can feel the pain. Ouch! because of the hand, because of the skin. Well, do you like it? We are all going to take a look at it every day for, I would say maybe for a couple of weeks, thank you. And we can use the poster to sing our song. Let's put this down and let's keep working with our daily assembly. Remember the poster that I, um, I showed you yesterday, the new one? So let's talk about feelings. Today, I am happy because we are going to learn and review more sounds, more letters. How are you feeling? Think about it. Are you happy as well? Where are you sat today? 
Are you angry because something has happened at home? Or are you afraid of something? Mm, no, right? Why are you tired? Because it's still early in the morning? Sleepy? No, no, no. If you are tired, it's because maybe you didn't sleep well today or last night. I don't know. Just think about it. Okay? Let's put the feelings closer down. With the five senses one, and I, we can take a look at the days of the week. What day is it today, friends? Yesterday, we said that it was Monday. So if yesterday was M Monday, what day is it today? Look at the first letter, the t -t -t. When I watch a tennis game, my head goes back and forth. T -t -t. Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. And something that you already know is that we are in spring. Spring. I, I don't think trees keep having flowers, right? No, no, they are. I think that they are all covered by leaves, no more flowers. It's been raining pretty much lately, so no more flowers. And today, let me look outside before this poster falls down. It's partly cloudy today. So yesterday, we said it was partly cloudy or partly sunny. Let's say that. Way. So yesterday was partly sunny. I've got it here. And today is exactly the same. So let me put up the calendar. Let's go this. Oh, sorry, friends. I am removing the array. So we can use it tomorrow again. Let me put up the calendar where we can take a look at the numbers, the month. Um, here we go. We did Monday yesterday, so today is Tuesday. So let's start with the sun, I mean the cloud. So let's draw the cloud first. And secondly, we can draw the sun and that's it today we have to count up to number five because today is tuesday the fifth of may tuesday you see number five so let's count to number five here we go one two three four five awesome and since today is Tuesday, today we are not going to work with the, do you remember the weather bear? Today, we are going to read words, very easy words. They are all written in capital letters. So they shouldn't be difficult. They shouldn't be difficult for you. Let's read them together anyways. Okay, look at the first one. Number two, <clears throat> sorry, friends. Mm. Eh. Mm. Men. Let's do it again. Pat. Pat. At. Men. Pat. Pat. Here comes another one. K. E. T. K. E. T. Kit. Kit. Right. Under at. The next one, take a look at it and says, it says, P E N mm, pin. One word. T E. Tip. 
let's do four and more. Let me grab some more glue. I don't think we need more. We don't need more. Here we go. Now it says set, set, set. The next one, sat, sat, sat. This one is very similar. S -e -t, sit. And the last one. Mm. Ah. Nap. Nap. Very good. Let's put it there. Now, let's keep learning. Tuesday, 5th of May, we are going to work with Jolly Phonics, letters and sounds. So do you remember that one? K, k, k for Kevin. K, 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 Kevin. Hugo. Oh, that's your letter. Remember that? Hugo. So, oh, what about that one? E, e, e. D. D. Do you remember that one? So that one is the one that we are going to review today with er and with mmm. Let's do it. The song, the, okay, that one is letter R and the song sounds like this more or less. See my puppy rip the rug. Er. Er. See my puppy rip the rug when he pulls so hard. Er. Er. So we're going to pretend to be a puppy, like a, a young dog, like a small dog, a young one, and you are pulling the rug. Er. Er. And that's how it sounds. So that one is letter R. Er. The next one is letter. Mmm, mmm. The mom and the dad make many meals. Mmm, mmm. The mom and the dad make many meals for their hungry children. So rub your tummy like this, as if you are seeing tasty food and say, mmm. Very good. And the last letter that we're going to review because this is something that we learned at school already is the d, d, d. See me play on my drum. Playing drums is lots of fun with a d, 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 d. See me play up on my drum. So you beat your hearts up and down. And the sound goes like this, sounds like this. D, 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 like dinosaur or drum. Now, please watch with your eyes, watch this short video. It shows you how to write the letter R. This is the letter R for Rosemary. One more time. Down. Around. Slant.
One more time. Down. Around. Slant. Now we are going to learn how to write letter M, letter M, only capital, okay? Letter M. Here we go. This is the letter M for me, monster. Down. Slant down, slant up, and down. One more time. It's not easy. Down, slant down, slant up, and down. One more time. Still on the top, always on the top. Down, slant down, slant up, and down. That's your letter, Mauro. And we are also going to watch this third and last video that is going to show you how to write letter D. D. See me play the drums. Okay, here we go. This is the letter D. Ready? Let's go down and around. What are you going to do three times? That was the first. Now let's do it one more time. Down, go up again and around. Third time and last time. Down, back, and around. So, once we finish the video, this, this, this video that I'm recording, this is the photocopy that you will have to work on, okay? So there are, where you can see letter R, R, You see letter M, mm, mm. And I also see letter D, 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 D. So once we finish the video, you have to ask your parents for the photocopy. You also need a pencil and please trace all the letters that you have. But that's something that we will do, that you will do once we finish. We haven't finished yet. Let's keep learning. You see, you need the pencil, don't forget that. And we are also now going to review the letters that we learned last week. X in the pan, eh, eh, eh. X in the pan, eh, eh, eh. X in the pan, eh, eh, eh. Crack the egg like this. A. So pretend you crack an egg against one side of a pan with one hand. Okay, so we do, and then we use hands to open the shell. A. A. 
A. So first we crack it, and then with both hands, we open the shell. A, A. X in the pan, A, A, A. X in the pan, A, A, A. X in the pan, A, A, A. Crack the egg like this, A. Oh, that's your letter. I like to hop, 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 up and down. I like to hop, 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 all around. I like to hop, 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 up and down. So hold your hand up to your mouth, panting as if you are out of breath. Here comes Kevin's sound. It's not his letter, but it's the sound. We are clicking castanets. K -k -k. So like this. We are clicking castanets. K -k -k. We are clicking castanets. Clicking castanets. We are clicking castanets. K -k -k. Very good. Um, this one. Kites are flying in the sky. K -k -k. Kites are flying in the sky. K -k -k. Kites are flying in the sky. Flying in the sky. Kites are flying in the sky. K -k -k. Very good, friends. Kevin, that is your letter. Let's see, what do we have to do now? Oh, oh now we have to read those words. Here we go. One rectangle. What does it say? D, a, d, dad. Let's look at the next one. S, e, t, set. D. Pad. R. A. T. Rat. The snake is in the grass. The snake is in the grass. Do you remember that one? Tennis. And now it says that it's time to play. Yay! Okay, friends, so Miss Irene has given um, your parents a photocopy with this, those three letters, R, M, D, that we have reviewed today. And, <clears throat> sorry, so what I want you to do is go get the play doh we did last week and put it on top of the letters so you can form the letters with play doh. And there are numbers, so you just have to follow the numbers because maybe you have to make with the play doh straight lines, straight or curved. Just look at the numbers, they are going to help you. If you don't remember how to make the play doh, this, oh, this is the way they're going to look like once you finish. And this is the way you can make Play-Doh at home. You need flour, salt, water, and you can use food coloring or washable paint. It depends on, on what you have. This okay, is so how you do it. how to make this really easy Play-Doh. In a bowl, mix one cup of flour, half cup of salt, and gradually stir in a half cup of water. 
If this mixture gets too dry, maybe there's too much flour, just add some water. When it's all mixed together, then you can knead it with your hands. If the dough starts to get too sticky, just add some flour. After you knead it, it should look something like this, and you can stop there and just use this as your Play-Doh. Or if you want to add some color to it, you can divide it into sections like this and add different colors to each with food color. You can add about five to 10 drops, and it helps to shape the area in the middle to hold the color. Then knead the dough to mix the color in. This process does get messy, and if you find food color is too hard to wash off, you might want to try a washable paint instead. You can also mix in the color while you're making the dough in the bowl. If you want to keep each color separate, it helps to wash your hands before you move on to the next color. And that's pretty much it. You can play with it just how you do with Play-Doh, and if you want to keep it from drying out, just put it into a bag. You can keep your Play-Doh in a bag and even store it in the refrigerator to make it last a little longer, but it will only last up to about four weeks. It does expire due to what it's made out of. If you want to so those were instructions and now it is time for me to say goodbye. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful afternoon with your parents, with your family. Take care and be very, very careful friends. If you're going out, just listen to your parents and do what they say, okay? Don't touch anything. Be careful because I love you very, very much. I'm so happy that I'm seeing you. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Love you.